I've been wanting to do this for a while. <laughs> and that is run up this mountain in the evening when the sun's going down instead of when the sun's coming up. Shadows are long right now. And, um, and I guarantee that we won't find anybody up here because people got to get down before it gets dark. Um, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But I really want to uh, see what we can see as we gaze into the west from that kind of that high cliff viewpoint that we usually have early in the mornings. So this time I got to pack a tripod up there as well as a camera because we might get a really good time lapse. <laughs> but we're gonna have to get right after this because no time to waste. <laughs> We don't want to miss it. Whatever's waiting for us up there, we want to be there on time. Here we go. And this is already the dark side of the mountain. Sun's gone down over here. Man, I'm almost too late. <laughs> it's the golden hour. See, sun, the way it lights your face, it's the perfect time for selfies. And that is a sunset taking place right over there. Okay, let's set up a time lapse here. Oh boy, yeah, sun's going down, down. I, I did meet a few other people, kinda, well, on their way down, hurrying to get out of here before it gets dark. Okay, tripod, you're gonna have to be absolutely still and solid. And then we'll throw a camera on here M50 with a 16 millimeter 1.4 I think it is lens Sigma art lens and uh, that will give us a really nice wide angle I ran up that mountain so hard that oh boy look at there goes the Sun there goes the Sun enable scene one slow moving four seconds 900 shots uh, let me just give this a bit, a bit of a tip up. We'll get some more sky, and we're looking good, and go. The deal is that, obviously that's west, right, where the sun is setting, and um, north being that way, south, down there. And so you just go down this peninsula, you come to Malaysia, end of Malaysia, Singapore, and then the equator, and I think we're probably maybe 2,000 kilometers from the equator here. And so what that means is that the sun goes like pretty well straight up and straight down. In Canada, it goes down and up on a slant, especially in the middle of winter or middle of summer. So here, the, we're so close to the equator that the difference between sunset and sunrise in the summer and sunset and sunrise in the winter is only about 15 minutes. But, uh, but again, you see that light, that nice light? <laughs> this is why you want to shoot at this time of the day. But the problem is here, it only lasts like minutes and it's gone. Like that sun, when we got here just a couple minutes ago, it was a full round circle and now it's not even showing. Um, but it's throwing some fantastic light up against the clouds. I thought it would set more this way, but looks like west is straight down there right over Got Si Chang, Si Chang Island. So that's good to know. Now the only reason that we can really see out here, everywhere else is just bush. Um, is because there's a big cliff right here and the trees don't grow on the cliff, right? So all the foliage is kind of down below a little bit up here But yeah, so that's our excitement for today Well time to pack them up got a couple really nice time lapses <laughs> Look at this clouds going by you know, you never know what you're gonna get with a time lapse until you uh, look at it. And um, you never know, like, should I take a frame every second? Should I take a frame every 10 seconds, every three seconds, whatever it is. So anyway, we gotta get down off this mountain. It's, uh, it's dark, it's pitch dark. <laughs> a few minutes ago, a couple ladies go, you know, just scuffling by with their flashlights on and they're like, I said, hello, <laughs> they kind of jumped, right? And they're like, we came up to watch the sunset, didn't realize it was gonna get dark so fast. 
But anyway, they're breaking tra trail for me, so I think they're probably long gone by now. Yesterday on Facebook, there was this picture of a huge cobra just over here a little ways, and um, somebody had taken. And, but my wife just told me, she said, if you run into a cobra, you're supposed to dodge because they strike straight. Okay, I got that. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, but anyway, I've got my snake hunting light with me here, so, you know, when they see this, they'll run for their lives. Snakes don't run. Let's head on down a mountain and uh, head home, see what Terry's got for supper. You know, I'm hoping it'll be some, you know, something really good. Heading into the dry season now. Rain's just about over. So that's why we're getting those beautiful clouds at night. <laughs> All right. Once we got down into the deep jungle, you know, the deep trees, pitch black. <laughs> Good thing I brought my snake on light. <laughs> 